Good morning, YouTube. It is currently Friday, September 1st, my birthday month, and we are getting ready for the day. Today's a big day because it's Lila Ray's first um, road trip. We're going to see all of our family just uh, about three, three and a half hours away. Um, but this is the first time she's ever traveled, so we'll see how that goes. We gotta wait for Colby to get off work, so we won't be going to like late tonight, essentially. Um, but today, we gotta pack and do all the things for her. I'm gonna go grocery shopping so we don't have to do it Monday. Monday is Labor Day, so Colby has a three-day weekend. I normally work Mondays. But I'm going to work Tuesday next week because the office is closed for Labor Day as well. So we're coming back Monday morning. So it'll be a nice three-day weekend with family. And yeah, we're just going to get the day going. That being said, I'm going to take you along mostly today and maybe when we come back. Probably not through the weekend because to be honest, I won't remember to vlog anything over the weekend. But I figured... It'd be fun to pack her bag for the weekend and everything together since I have never done it before. And I'm definitely getting a little anxious about it. So, I'll take you along with us here in a little bit. Okay, so it's not much later. I put some makeup on. I haven't gotten dressed or anything yet because I need to pack and everything. Or try to start the process before I go run some errands. Um, but I put her down for a nap in her crib. I was trying to put her on the bed, but she wasn't having it on our bed. So I put her down in her crib and she fell right asleep. Um, she's pretty good about self-soothing, putting herself back to sleep. So she'll like wake up, toss and turn, and then she'll self-soothe back to sleep. So yesterday she slept in there for like, or the day before yesterday, like over an hour. And then yesterday, maybe 30, 45 minutes. So she's doing way better in her crib. I'm just starting to try to get her used to that before like in the future we have to put her in there for bedtime so I'm trying to start it really early but anyways I'm I think I'm going to try to get like the logistical stuff together like diapers wipes um her carrier her snot sucker like all that type of stuff um that's kind of scattered around the house and mostly in our room um and then before I like pack her clothes and everything because she's in there and I want to not disturb her. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm actually going to pack a suitcase. My mother-in-law has a lot of stuff, she said, but I feel better about bringing our stuff too, like just in case. And also, we're not going to be at her house the entire weekend, so I need our own diapers and everything when we go to other people's houses. So all that to be said, let's start the packing process. Okay, so, excuse our bare walls. We have not decorated our room whatsoever yet. Like, there's literally nothing on our walls in here, except for the TV. So, don't mind that. I did write a little packing list yesterday, and I keep adding things to it because they've come to my mind. So, I grabbed some stuff from there. Uh, I need to grab diapers they're in this thing because um a sweet lady that came to my shower one of my mom's friends she made us like this jeep thing out of diapers blankets onesies pacifiers bottles like literally a whole bunch of baby stuff and then she made a thing out of it and these diapers were like the wheels so she had a whole bunch of diapers bundled together as the wheels which is why there's some uh that are rubber banded so we've been trying to use these before we open any boxes because they're already open so i'm gonna pack like 15 diapers my mother-in-law says she has diapers and wipes but i'm not sure what size diapers she has i'm pretty sure she has one i'm pretty sure she would know that she's a size one now but just in case and just for extra for like, like I said, the diaper bag and everything, 
I'm going to take these. That way, any leftover diapers that's at her house, we can just keep at her house uh, for when we come back. So I'm gonna pack a good bit of those wipes. I like the Huggies wipes. Never get the Fisher Price wipes. Just saying, I hate them. They're thin, they're hard to come apart. It's just a whole thing. And I have a towel and two washcloths. So fun fact, I actually shower with Lila. We didn't like the whole bath situation. Our guest bathroom isn't that big and that's the only place we have a like tub in. And just for Colby and I to fit in there, it just wasn't working and like she's slippery. So you'd have to pick her up to wash her back and it's just like a whole thing. So one day I was like, let me shower with her. So I held her in the shower and like she would fall asleep and absolutely loved it. She loves her hair being cleaned and all that, but it was so much easier for me to hold her and do it all than it was for us to do it in the bathtub. So that's good because at Colby's parents' house, they only have a shower, they don't have a bathtub. So I have a towel and two washcloths because I always use two. And then I have a thinner, this is actually swaddle, but we don't swaddle her during the day. Um, and it's too hot. So I use it as a thin blanket. And then I have this thicker blanket just in case it's cold in the house or to use to lay her down on. And then, like I said, towel, two washcloths for shower. We should only have to take one shower there or she should only have to take one shower there because I bathe her every other night. So we've got light blanket, heavier blanket. Um, have it two burp cloths and then I'll have technically three because I have one in the diaper bag her hatch sound machine and it just occurred to me she hates cold wipes she doesn't cry or anything but like in the middle of the night she really doesn't like them and it wakes her up more than it needs to but I'm not gonna pack her wipe warmer that's overkill I'm trying to be realistic but at the same time I'm trying to overpack because this is the first time we've ever traveled with her and I want her to feel as comfortable as possible have her lotion for bath time and then I need books the rest of the stuff is kind of in her room uh, my mother-in-law has a boxy for me but I'm bringing my breast friend pillow just because it's like more support and everything in the middle of the night because um, she is getting heavier so I'm bringing her infantino carrier um, we haven't used it a whole bunch just because it's so hot outside. But just in case we go to the mall or something, I want to be able to put her on and not have to do the whole stroller thing. I have her baby nose sucker. I have her contrast books in her diaper bag. And then I'm going to get her little, I have a big um, like bedtime favorites book with like a whole bunch of five minute stories in it. And the rest I have to wait till she wakes up to get from her room. So I have this little suitcase with the two sides. I put all this, like, you know, extra stuff um, on this side. So I got all of her diapers, her wipes, sucker, all that stuff. And then I will put this carrier in on top and zip it up. And then all of her clothes and everything else will go on that side. Okay, so she just woke up. She's getting a a little fussy. I accidentally woke her up, but she had already been sleeping for like 45 minutes or so. Keep touching her thing to like keep her occupied. I'm going to be there Saturday, Sunday, and leave Monday. So I'm going to do a cute outfit Saturday and Sunday. And then on Monday, I'm just going to put her in a regular onesie. She just transferred to her zero to three month clothes. So I'm like getting to play with a whole new wardrobe basically because she's never worn them before. I might have to pause and do this later. Pause. Okay, so she is, it's a couple hours later. She was getting irritated, so I fed her um, 
and then thought she was done. Gave her her medicine. Still, she was acting like really upset. So I fed her more and she was still hungry. And then I have her in her little swing mama roo, four mom, whatever thing, swing. And so I came in here to go ahead and pack while she's occupado. Um, I'll show you the little outfits I packed. I went ahead and packed one, two, three, four like cuter outfits and then one onesie uh, just because we're meeting or she's meeting a lot of Colby's family tomorrow. So I want him to be able to kind of pick an outfit for him to meet all of them or for her to meet all of them tomorrow. So I'm giving him options because he's currently not here to pick them out. So I have this yellow onesie with these cute little jean shorts. Um, and then of course she can just wear the regular onesie too if she gets uncomfy. And then this is the regular onesie to ride back in on Monday. So she's nice and comfy. And then this cute little outfit and I'll bring a gray bow. She wore those for her one month old pictures. It's so cute. And this outfit, which I was just talking to my mom on the phone. This is labeled six months. And this is most definitely not six months. She still wore this when she was in the rest of the newborn clothes. I had it like, I organized my closet to like the smaller zero to three months I put towards the newborn size because I didn't want to like miss them. And I'm so glad that when I was putting stuff in the closet that I was conscious enough that this was tiny because this is not six months old. And then this one, I don't know if it'll fit her. It kind of looks a little big, but a lot of the things that I think are going to look big get on her and they fit. So there's that. So four cute little outfits, one onesie, and then three sleepers. I might exchange one of those for one of her Cloud Island sleepers once it's out of the dryer and then her swaddle and everything is in there as well so I'm gonna put these in there I'm just trying to think of everything I need um also Cash our dog he is going with my parents this weekend because I just didn't want to mess with him traveling as well just because I'm already a little anxious about traveling with Lila and I'm always anxious traveling with Cash like leaving him at the house and all that when we're gone so um yeah, he's going with them. So my dad's going to swing by in a little bit to pick up the cage and the dog and all of his stuff. And then I'm going to go to the grocery store and everything after that. So I'm just going to kind of finish packing her stuff up while she's in there. And then my stuff just got out of the dryer. So it's my turn to pack for me. Okay, so it's a couple hours later now. I've kind of picked up the house, um, finished doing some things. I had three bananas that were going bad, so I made some banana bread and that's in the oven right now. Um, I will show you what I have packed so far. I already showed you what was in that side, um, but I packed this. It can go on her thing or whatever. Um, these are her little nice outfits. Um, onesies, sleepers, swaddle, more sleepers, a couple breast milk bags, um, the bedtime story book I was telling you about, uh, her contrast books are in her diaper bag, and then I have a bottle, and then I have another bottle that I'm going to take, but it already has milk in it, um, but that's all that's pretty much going to go in there besides these three things. These are her daily vitamin D drops, her gripe water. Um, when she has hiccups and then her medicine she has to take three times a day and then I have her medicine droppers I'll put these in here and then I have to use this LV curve next feeding but then I'll put it in here as well to use while we're gone to put in some bottles just in case while we're out and about but that's really all that I'm packing for her I packed myself three outfits one set of pajamas with pants and one set of pajamas with shorts and my toiletries all that stuff just typical stuff for me but as of her 
I think she's pretty much packed, or at least things that are gonna go in the suitcase. I restocked her diaper bag, put like her diaper cream and stuff in there that's normally on our changing table in our room. And then I'm gonna bring her angel care seat, her bassinet stroller, her regular stroller, and I think that's it. That sounds like a lot. <laughs> and then I have my breast feeding covers already in the car. Um, I keep those in there for emergencies. But yeah, that's it for her at this point. It's three o'clock. My dad's gonna come soon and get cash and take him over there. I'm gonna go do my grocery shopping so we don't have to do it when we come back on Monday. And then at that point, we're just waiting for Colby to get home. I think he said he probably won't be home till after six, which means I'll probably feed her right before we leave and then go ahead and start her like four hour nightly feeding timer. So that should get us all the way to where we're going. Hopefully she sleeps the whole way. Okay, so it is now six o'clock. Colby is still 15 minutes from his work and then he's 45 minutes from work to home. So Lila's been with my parents for the past like 45 minutes to an hour. Um, so I could go grocery shopping. That way I don't have to do it Monday. Everything's at the house. So when Colby gets home, all he's gotta do is shower and then we're gonna be heading out. So, yeah. I don't know how Lila's feeding schedule is gonna be because she hasn't ate much her last two feedings. So, I don't really know what to do. I plan on probably heating up a bottle before we leave. That way it could be good for the ride if she needs it. Um, but that's the verdict right now. It's going to be a long, long night. <laughs> good morning. It is currently Saturday morning, which means we have officially done Lila's first road trip and we made it around 11 last night and she didn't wake up well she woke up twice in the very beginning of the trip and just was looking around she didn't cry nothing was super content um so it was a success a definite success and I'm glad it's in the books now so that way <laughs> I don't have to stress about it anymore I'm hoping she's the same way on Monday when we go back. Um, but it's gone good so far. She slept great last night. I think the hatch shot machine and her swaddle thing helped her like feel like it's normal. Um, but yeah, this morning I went and grabbed coffee. We're hanging out with family. We're gonna have a very fun weekend this weekend with Lila meeting a whole bunch of people that are very important to us. So. With all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video since her first road trip is officially done. Um, if you wanna see more, please subscribe and comment whatever you wanna do. Follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. And yeah, I will see you back in the next video. Bye.